Welcome to a Saturday evening edition of uh, Mediocre Cover Band COVID Guitar Guy. Just uh, just got over a bit of COVID myself. Uh, had it all last week. Was not a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you. Like uh, I've heard people talk about, hey, I had COVID and uh, it was the best I ever felt in my life. Uh, not the case for me. Um, it sucked. It it really really sucked, man. I'm going to tell you. So, uh, I got a rant. <laughs> You're like, no shit. I also have a dog running around in the room who's like really hyper. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell. So, hey buddy, come here. Yeah, he's not gonna come here. He's just gonna bark at nothing. And uh, anyway, my rant being is that uh, while I was suffering from COVID, I uh, was thumbing through Facebook. And I came through a post where somebody had, uh, I'm not gonna name names, uh, I remember who put it there, but they had posted a, a picture of a set of keys to a band house. And uh, a lot of guys, a lot of people responded. It was really positive, like, because we all remember staying in a band house somewhere at some point in our life. Um, up uh, for me, up, on, up until recently, 2017, 18, uh, even maybe 2019, down in Clarenville. But um, it's not something no, that you don't see much now. A lot of places will stick you up in a hotel or whatever. Um, but one of the comments was, uh, or one of the things, sorry, to go with the post, it said, um, don't see many of these anymore. And somebody had commented and said, don't see many bands anymore. And, um, I kind of was like, what? Cause this person deals with bands, you know, he books bands and, and, and everything else and, and whatever. And I thought that, that was an odd statement. Like, um, I know a lot of people who are in bands, so I kind of took a little bit of offense, like, not really offended, because you, you got to, like, care about something, I guess, to be, like, offended by it or some of these comments, but it kind of left me thinking, there are a lot of bands out there, it's just we're all struggling right now, and uh, whether it be because venues are struggling themselves because they haven't recovered from the whole COVID thing, or is it, for whatever reason, people aren't going out as much. I mean, I noticed the... the, the Gen Zers, they're not going out. They don't, you know, they uh, they go and rely on their phone and Tinder and places like that, whatever, and they don't socialize. I mean, I know that from having Gen Zers in the home. They don't socialize like they did when we were younger. They don't want to be around large groups of people. They're content to be 22 years old and just hang out at someone's house and play video games. It's completely different from what we did. And I guess that's it. Our generation was probably completely different from what our parents did. I guess that's the way it goes. But getting back to where I was going with this, yes, there are bands out there. I know lots of people who still play in bands. I know lots of people who are still struggling to get gigs. Um, uh, one of the comments that floated around then when that whole thing started off was bands making the same amount of money as they did in the 80s. Yes, they are. Uh, we got people willing to play for a hundred bucks because they just want to play hundred bucks a man, not not for a full band, because that would be totally. I'd name names <laughs> if that were the case. But um, people are willing to go and do it for a hundred bucks for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, but there are bands. Some of them would rather not play uh, if it means that they're going to have to take it in the rear because they're not getting paid, and some of them just can't get booked because they're not a part of the cool kids club. Um, or whatever reason, financial reasons, or whatever. Lack of interest, there's a whole bevy of reasons. But, just wanted to point out, yes sir, there are bands out there, and there are bands that would love to be playing right now, there are bands that are looking for work. <laughs> so, if you have a band, folks, and like, I don't get a lot of shares on stuff, and it doesn't bother me, I do this probably half time for my own amusement. But if you got a band, why not just put it in the comments? Here, if you've got a band here in St. John's, uh, just put it in the comments or whatever uh, your band's name. Let's see how many bands are out there considering 
you know, we've got someone saying there aren't many bands out there when there are. And um, it's just we're struggling. So that's my rant. I just kind of felt like, you know, that was an odd statement. Especially for somebody who uh, is, is a manager of a venue and books bands. Uh, are you not looking or are you unaware or you're just aware of your own little market or whatever with, with your six people that you hire? I don't know. So um, that's just, you know, some food for thought for me. I'd be interested to see, uh, you know, I could be out of the loop. <clears throat> I haven't, we haven't played a lot this year. I haven't played a lot this year and uh, just could be out of the loop. Maybe everybody's disbanded. I don't know. So, uh, but if you got a band, like stick it in the comments. I'd like, I'd be interested. Like, even if you've got like a tribute band or an original band or you know a cover band, stick it in the, um, stick it in the, uh, in the comments. I'd be interested to see. If you want, you know, share it with your friends and see if we can't fill it up. And you guys stay safe. I wouldn't wish COVID on my worst enemy. Serious.